We've all heard the pervasive myth about people's names being changed at Ellis Island as they immigrated into the United States. You may even have that story in your own family, but the fact of the matter is, it's probably just a myth. When your ancestor got on the ship at the port of embarkation, a manifest was created based on the name on the ticket. When the ship reached the US, that ship manifest was used to process the passenger through the port of arrival. So no name change occurred at that point. It's also important to note that Ellis Island employed translators who collectively spoke more than 23 different languages. As arriving passengers were interviewed, no language barrier would have led to a name change on any of the paperwork then. All that said, many new Americans made the decision to change their names themselves for all sorts of reasons within the weeks or sometimes a few years of arriving. I knew a McKay family who thought they were Scottish. Turns out the grandparents' name was McCuskey. When they got to America, some of the sons shortened the name to Mac, but Grandpa didn't want a name that rhymed, so he decided to go with Jack McKay. And that's Genealogy in a Minute.